let us consider a point P here. At point P, we are going to find electric field due to the dipole, two charges. Now, let us go for the orientations. Orientation means point P lies at a distance R from center and the dipole itself has a length 12. 12 means from center to this charge L, that charge L. We learned that. Now, electric field due to this positive charge, orange ball, positive charge away. And just now we learned the formula. It would be away and we denote it by E plus. That means electric field due to the plus charge. So E plus would be given by K. That means 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q, its magnitude, divided by distance square. Can you understand this? The distance of point P from the plus charge is this. That is R plus L. So K, Q by distance square. Similarly, if you can understand E due to the minus charge. This was E due to the plus charge. E due to the minus charge would be given by in similar manner K Q by R minus L whole square because the distance of point P from this negative charge is this much and that is nothing but R minus L, R minus L, this distance. But its direction would be towards the charge. We just discussed that. So this would be E due to the negative charge, who which, uh, which uh, electric field would be greater, due to the plus or minus? Yes, minus charge is closer to point P, so effect of minus charge would be more. Otherwise, mathematically, see this, plus, minus. So this is going to be more. We can do it in a vector, following a vector method, like net electric field E vector. Try to follow this. Very easy. E vector can be given by the vector sum. Remember superposition of electric fields. Vector sum of electric field due to plus charge and minus charge equals to. May we write this like this? K, Q. I am taking these common. Okay, let me do it in a little detail. K, Q by R plus L whole square. Then I hat. Electric field due to the plus charge. I hat direction x axis plus K Q R minus L whole square. What would be its direction? Minus I hat in this way. Very tough calculation. Very tough. I really fear whether we all would be alive after this or not. Anyway, so equals to. Let us take KQ common. I am erasing this part for ease of calculation. And let us make the board a little more black so that the contrast is nice. So KQ common 1 by R plus whole square plus 1 by R minus whole square. But I am making an adjustment here. What? I am writing I hat. I am doing this minus. You see? Minus I hat comes here. So sign becomes minus and all both of them become I hat. So equals to KQ. Now the mathematics comes. A plus B into A minus B, A square minus B square, but they are not alone, square of them each, so whole square. Now, this comes here, so it is R minus L whole square, minus R plus L whole square, I hat. Giving you time for digesting. Anyway, nothing is there, come on. You can do this. You don't need me to do this. You can do this. Pause the video, get the answer by yourself. 
I'm just doing this for formality. Anyway, so KQ a plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square for a b but a minus b whole square minus a plus b whole square minus 4 a b so minus 4 a means r b means l divided by r square minus l square then whole square i hat i am taking this over here clean up operation so let us take this electric field E in vector form KQ R square minus L square whole square ok I will be making some ad, uh, uh, changes here try to understand this minus is given to I hat he was I hat was trying his its whole life to get minus now it got now got rid of negative sign 4RL can be written like this 2R 2L both are happy 2R 2L 4RL why did we do this say this Q into 2L is dipole moment P so E vector net electric field on the axis K let us combine Q into 2L as P let us write so 2R remains still, let us write it here, 2 and R divided by R square minus L square whole square minus I hat. This is the formula. A dipole moment due to, uh, sorry, electric field due to a dipole. What is this direction? Minus I hat. But you can change this its direction. You can place that electric uh, dipole like this. Suppose you have written minus Q here plus Q. Then this will become your axial position P. So again you will write minus I hat electric field direction. So you have to learn it the best way. That is think of this electric field. This was plus Q charge. This was minus Q charge. Let me remind you of a person, vector P, vector P, dipole moment. That means for this dipole, the dipole moment is from negative charge to positive charge. So it has got dipole moment in this direction, vector P. And what is the direction of electric field? Minus I hat. At this was the point P. Remember, here net electric field is minus I hat. That means in this direction. Do you see? A nexus, I mean a relation between the direction of net electric field and that of the dipole moment. Yes, they are same. That means the electric field due to a dipole will be having this value for sure. But this can be replaced by writing and remembering along vector P. This is along. My handwriting is very good. You can understand this. So this is along vector P. So if we, the, the fact just I told you about, if we have a dipole like this, minus Q plus Q. Now can you answer that question? Minus charge plus charge. Which would be the direction of the dipole moment for this set? Minus to plus here. This would be its dipole moment. Now if you are given or asked what would be the dipole moment at a point say here at P. Oh, let me use the point as A because P and small p are similar. Anyway, so this is the point A. Here at point A, what would be the direction of the dipole moment at point A? Yes, along vector P. That will help you. So vector P is along this direction. Here, electric field intensity due to this dipole would be along this direction, along this direction. What about this point? This is also a point on the axis. So dipole moment along this. So electric field at this point, E dash would be along this. So at any point on this axial position, any point, leave this part, 
any point on this axial position electric field due to this dipole would be along this along this that is the idea this is what this is a short dipole we learnt in the last case that electric field intensity at any point on the axis of the dipole is given by k 2 pr divided r square minus l square whole square now if the point p where electric field is to be found is taken at a large distance from the center of the dipole r generally this dual length is of the order of micrometer nanometer so small molecular dipoles so compared to l r is much much greater so r square is further greater than l square so we can do what for a short dipole l can be considered as zero so the equation becomes e at p equals to k to p r divided by r square whole square because l square is 0. So r square whole square means r to the power 4. So finally it becomes 2p by r by r4 r cube. So e equals to 2p by r cube k into 2p by r cube. When for a short dipole on the axial position.